Hey everyone and welcome back to Res 2016. I'm here with James and we're here to talk about deceit. Now yeah. we've been doing a thing today where I'm not sure if you've heard about it, but I call it a lift pitch. Right. Where it's kind of do with you've got your boss at work, you get in the lift and you've got to be like bang bang bang, this is my idea, do you like it? So if you could, could you do a lift pitch for deceit? For deceit. So deceit is a multiplayer it's, a, it's sort of a horror game, right. but at the same time it's more action. Effectively you have to escape from an asylum, but you're right. on one of two teams. Either you're infected or you're not. Uh, right, the infected okay. actually are trying to cover up who they are because the other team don't know who the infected are. Right, okay. uh, so their task are trying to escape but at the same time working out who might be stopping them from escaping the asylum. So effectively right. uh, you've got these dark periods in the map where they can attack you and sort of one shot kill you. Right, and this okay. gets sort of more and more intense as you go through the map. Uh, so you have to itemize and essentially uh -huh. try and work out who is actually on your side. Oh, that and, yeah. So is that, can you do that with like four friends or something like that? Because that it's would be uh, great in groups. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's a nine player where no, sort of everyone's on a random team, three mm -hmm. rounds. Uh, and also on release we're doing a 12 player but paired up so you can right, queue yeah, with yeah. one other person, always be on the same side as them. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so it's nine or 12 uh, in one okay. game. That's great then. So, um, I'm guessing it's kind of got a feel like, you know, Trouble in Terrorist Town on Gmod. Yeah, but I would say, like, oh, yeah. I'm innocent, I'm innocent. Indeed, yeah, I would say that, yeah, G uh, Trouble in Terrorist Town is probably the closest, one of the closer things that we've yeah. seen on the market. It's got that aspect to it, mm -hmm. uh, although not just FPS, so you sort of, you do have combat in it to engage with other players. You've got uh, melee with uh, pistol towards the end, but um, right. so it's not just, uh, it's not so much just an FPS, it's, it's maybe a bit more structured so that you can right. replay it more. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, yes, it certainly has that, that part of the gameplay to it. Alright, that's great. So, um, you said it's based on an asylum. Yeah. So, as escaping goes, is it just like find a door or is it... Yeah, so you have to escape through the top, you start in the basement and you work right. your way up. Um, you have to use currency to sort of purchase doors, but you offset right, okay. that against whether you're buying weapons. Uh, so, and at the same time, if you if you disable other players before you kill them, because you're using like a bat, you can knock them down. You right. actually take some of their their currency. Right. All right, okay. So you're sort of balancing whether you invest your time trying to do that against someone you don't think is necessarily going to be on your side, right. or you invest in going up the asylum as fast as possible <laughs> so that you can avoid dark periods. All right. So how do you um, how do you earn currency? Uh, you earn it over time, but you can take it off other people by effectively downing them. With weapons. Oh, okay, so just yeah. knock people out. Yeah, you knock people out. Yeah. <laughs> if you kill them, of course, then uh, you actually lose currency if you kill a, a good guy. Uh, but the early weapons don't kill; they sort of disable temporarily that person. They like, knock them down like a baseball bat or a taser. Right. Uh, but as you get up, you get weapons that can execute people, uh, okay. and you want to do that only on people you, you know, you, at that point you should probably have worked out. Yeah. Who the bad guy is. Hopefully, right. who the bad guys are. Yeah. So I, I take it the end game for somebody who's playing as infected is to kill everyone. Yeah, you have to kill as many people as possible. You'll get you, you're scored based on that. The good guys are just scored based on escaping, right. and to an extent, who else escapes. So the more people yeah. escape, the better for you. Um, and then after the three rounds, you're you're sort of scored up. Right. You're, the yeah. leaderboard will have a winner, a single winner. All right, that sounds that actually sounds like quite a lot of fun. There's a, there's a lot to it. So we're sort of here trying to experiment. Um, yeah. With an early alpha build, we've only been uh, doing this for three months. This right. game, um, we're focused on sort of rapid multiplayer development. So, we want to get some people in early, try out the gameplay, see what they found most intuitive. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're here, sort of with that with that build now, uh, just before we go on early access. Um, so yeah, but we're actually doing a 1.0 launch in August. So it's a pretty oh, it's, a, it's a pretty early build we've got yeah. here today. But we thought, you know, it's good to get that feedback Might in early. Show it off. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so what platforms is it? Just Steam or is it um, at all? We'll be talking to console developers soon, so we're not, right. we're not sure what's happening there yet. I mean, um, we can develop it for, for consoles as well. Um, but yeah, naturally, Steam, um, and of course, we'll consider VR as well. We've not sort of worked on VR yet, but I think that's that's a natural thing. I mean, we're sort of in the horror category where yeah. VR, you know, is oh, pretty one. big. <laughs> but at the same time, like a lot of horror games in VR are just jump scares, and you sort of get yeah, yeah. either like you you break your VR kit or you maybe get bored after the first couple of yeah. times you've done that. So hopefully, we, we might have something interesting there with VR. So we'll see where that goes. So, like jump scare, I'm awful with them. Um, <laughs> it's kind of completely off topic, but you know, Batman vs Superman. Yeah. There's a jump scare in that, and I had like a pint, <laughs> just spilled it all over myself. Well, I've seen great. people, yeah, throw it, just throw everything. <laughs> Alright, well, um, that's great. It sounds like a really fun game. It's been nice Thanks. speaking to nice you, speaking and to you. I hope it goes, goes well. <laughs> awesome, thanks very much. Right, cheers.